Download the official Webcar app now on Google Play Store. Hello everybody, it's Adrian for Webcard Online and I'm all about the details. This year is the Saga's 35th anniversary, so it's been 35 years since the Proton Saga first rolled out of production line in Malaysia. And I believe that everyone, every Malaysian will have a Saga story to tell. So in today's video, I have, well, almost all the previous generation Saga and their owners to tell you their Saga story. And what's even cooler is that these owners got to know each other through our Wapcar official chat channels on WhatsApp, Facebook, as well as forum. So first up, we have the first generation saga and I have the owner, Don, here. Don, could you just introduce yourself as well as the car to everyone? Okay, hi guys. My name is Donald. I'm 23 years old this year and I work as a banker. Why did I choose this saga is that to me personally, I'm a type of person that likes to be special. I appreciate history and I appreciate culture and heritage. So, the Proton Saga is a very special car to the Malaysians. Everybody would have seen the saga on the road at some point. And most people would have a story to tell about a saga, whether they've been in an accident or they have it in a family <laughs> car yes, yes. or whatsoever. It's a very memorable and historical icon for us Malaysians. For me, I want to be outstanding and I want to be away from the norm. Where conventional people, they will buy newer cars. I prefer to look for the classics and own a historical piece such as the saga. I purchased this car this year for a very, very affordable price from an old gentleman. Wow. He has been owning the car since uh, 1991. First hand owner, you're the yes. second owner. He's the first hand owner. I am the only uh, second owner, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. And you have another saga, another saga, right? Yes. I own this saga and as well as I own the saga is one LS, LMST, yes. Okay, now we go over there. So this is your first saga, right? And that was the second one. Yes. Please tell me about your first saga. Okay, so uh, for my first saga, this one is the one that my family had. My dad purchased it in 2007 and in 2015, he passed me the keys when I had my driving license. And from then on, I've made many uh, modifications along the way. There's a lot of blood, sweat and tears that I made that I had when I had this car. Just to make it a bit more personal, a bit more your car. Lah. Yes. And I realised that it's kept in very nice condition, you know. Normally cars that are passed down, you know, a bit banged up cars. Yeah. But why are you working so hard to keep it in such a perfect condition? Personally, I have a sentimental connection with this car. It's my first car, it's the car that I learned to drive in, and it's the car that I grew up in. So that's what makes me want to uh, preserve this car in such a pristine condition. I've did a paint job, I've uh, did some modifications to the engine, uh, to the suspension, to the brakes, and there's a lot of stuff that I've done to the car already. Okay, beautiful. And it's a manual. Yes. It's a manual. Important, guys. Yep. Next up is Afik's beautiful silver first generation saga. Afik, welcome to the channel. Please tell us more about this car and about yourself. Yep. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Afik. I'm from Selangor, Klang. So this car was uh, passed down from my late father. Uh, it was manufactured in 1992. This saga is known as 1.5 Magma. And I've been driving this since uh, 2009. For me, Proton has a long history since establishment. So, uh, uh, basically, the Saga is uh, quite uh, symbolic, the patriotic of the national car, as a first national car. So from there, uh, I want to preserve the historical and also the heritage of the Saga itself. A bit of sentimental value as well, because yes, it's correct. a family car since so long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Also, thank you so much for sharing. So, Eugene, could you please tell me about yourself as well as your Saga? Uh, hi, uh, my name is Chong Eugene, and uh, this is a Saga that is, has been passed down by my father. He, he bought this in the year 2009 and then uh, when I got my license, he passed it down to me at 2017. So what's your greatest memory you have with this car then? Uh, the greatest memory so far I had is uh, driving around with my friends to Genting or maybe during uh, uni, uh, because I'm a uni student. Uh, so during lunch hours, I can I drive out with my friend to eat together, have lunch together with my friends. Next, we have Xavier who is having this white beautiful saga. Please, tell me more about yourself as well as your car. Hi, my name is Xavier. So, uh, my this saga, I bought it in 2018. Okay. It's a 1.3 premium CVT spec. 
uh, why I bought the car is because back then my budget was in the 50,000, sub 50,000 category. So uh, back then was the choice of Beza or Saga. So after a back to back test drive and so off, I decided to choose this car because the handling is su uh, surprisingly good. For okay, okay. Price point. Okay, how about your greatest memory with this car since you've owned it for quite some time now? Uh, one of my greatest memories is the uh, first time going for the Wap Car TT. La, oh, okay, okay. So uh, back then was a group of us uh, going, you know, a chill drive up uh, Genting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I uh, was quite shocked at how good it performs in a corner. Okay. I was okay. not expecting that. But uh, yeah, it's really it's a testament of how good the Proton built this car. Proton right and the handling. Yep. Uh, really, Proton right and the handling is yep. something else. And now we have Darren who owns this latest generation of the Saga facelift. Darren, please share with us about yourself as well as your story with the Saga. Um, hi guys, my name is Darren. So uh, this is my Saga here, which is armored silver color. Um, so what I love about this car is because um, new transmission, which is different from um, the previous generation. I think that itself is... The 4 speed um, automatic, right? Yeah, yeah, that itself is a big change than the previous generation. So uh, the, having the 4 speed automatic as well as uh, the upgraded features here just attracted you to get this car? La. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Were you choosing between... What, what were your options when you were choosing this car? Um, it was between this and the MyV, okay. but the MyV was a little bit expensive. So right. um, when this car came out and I saw it um, on the live, uh, FB Live when they launched the car and Immediately, I fall in love with this car. Okay, yeah. okay. For the features? Yes. For the price? Yes. How about the driving experience? The driving experience was okay. The handling was really good on this okay. car. And what surprised me was the sound system. It was fantastic. Much, right? Yes. Much. It's yes. original as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So there you have it. As I've mentioned, everyone has a Saga story to tell. And my favourite story for today would have to be Donald's first generation Saga. He bought it to preserve the history and culture. And his appreciation for the Proton Saga is just so inspiring. But what about you? What is your Saga story? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Wapcar app on Google Play Store now for all your latest news, reviews and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car. See you there!